Thanks for tuning in. Your match. <laughs> Forest Green have largely struggled this season in the prospect of facing successive relegations. Which is real. Five and a half of Colchester a couple of weeks ago. They have been paid a course for the price of the Wolves of Optimism. They have to kick dash for the team and lost it to Barrow. Now they face Crawley, who have been boiled off an excellent start to the season. But Lindsay's side of winless in each of those four games. of players and fans paying tribute to Remembrance Day, which is coming up in a couple of weeks' time. Really looking to get on the front foot. And Ronan Darcy. Crosses over the hit. Sarula is going to keep it in play. And here is Nick Sarula. Fiercely fought on the edge of the box. Drops now for Gordon. Horshaw oh. gets down and makes the stop. Plenty of space. Decided to unleash it first time. Strong hands from James Belshaw. Yes. Oh, we have a corner. It's cleared by Forrest Green. We will get another one. Taken short this time. Here's Darcy. One touch football. Darcy with the strike. And Crawley take the lead inside seven minutes. It was a terrifically worked goal. Almost passed into the back of the net. Four in his last eight for Ronan Darcy, a player who Scott Lindsay knows well. Brought him to Crawley from Swindon, and he's repaying the faith shown in him. Lewis was clattered into by McAllister. And a short free kick this time. Sent into the box, drops to Lollas. Belshaw stops it. And then the follow up from Jay Williams is headed over. Forest oh, Green asleep at the back. Belshaw was alert and alive. And Williams couldn't keep the header down. Darbo. Now Bunker. Got it back to the keeper. Oh, that was ambitious. Perhaps a bit risky. Bunker. Through ball now. For Callum Morton. Onto his right foot. And it sneaks underneath Corey Adai. Two in three now for Callum Borton, who we know has goals in him at this level. It's not one that Corey Adai will look back on too fondly. Squirms underneath his body. Two in three now for Callum Borton. Forest Green won, Crawley won. Kellen Gordon. That's a dangerous ball in. And Belshaw dives to his side to keep the ball out. And one fullback to another. Nick Sarula, it was making the run.
Smash forward by Gordon. Collected by Don Bernard. Proper autumnal conditions here in Gloucestershire. Nodded on now to Callum Morton. What a one! And Callum Morton has turned things around. It's a proper route one goal. The flick on was judged to perfection. And Morton's movement was excellent. Getting himself away from Jay Williams. He's making his mark at Forest Green now. And he's made it 2-1 on the stroke of half-time. Conditions certainly haven't improved after the break. Chance for Crawley. What a stop from Belshaw. And then the follow-up was blocked. He initially joined on an emergency loan deal from Bristol Rovers. They'll be wanting to keep him full-time based on this performance. Chase to try and keep this in play. Scooped into the area. Big chance to make it three. And this time it's a die that makes the stop. May have been a bit of a shirt pull in the area. It's clumsily given away. This is Matty Stevens. Stevens goes for it. Well stopped again by Adai. And just look at Troy Deeney, the number 14, begging for the ball to be passed to him. Stevens didn't oblige. He lived to regret that. chance maybe Jones smashes it clear but it's another invaluable victory for Forest Green and one they had to do the hard way because Crawley took the lead on seven minutes through Roan and Darcy and ultimately the match winning hero proved to be Callum Morton a couple of goals for him just before half time Forest Green in 22nd in the table and it's three more points on the board. Well, his poor form continues. They're now 14th in the table. It's finished. Boris Green 2, Crawley 1.